Hi guys, I'm gonna do an EFT sequence today and I'm gonna do it on um, confidence and imposter syndrome. You can, I've done this before. We can never have too many um, sequences dealing with confidence and imposter syndrome. So I'll probably end up doing a confidence series because it's such a major issue. But here's the thing, if you go to the bottom of my page at the very beginning, go take a big, if you have nothing else to do, um, take a look at the bottom of, you know, from when I started all the way up to now. I just was not confident whatsoever at all. Just was not, this is a hideous angle. I just wasn't. Um, I work in a completely different industry, like polar opposite to this world, polar opposite to TikTok, right? Very, very rigid. Um, rules, regulations, very mandated, has to be for what it is. It has to be. So it is what it is. Um, but I didn't have access to my creativity. I didn't have access to that side of me. I always felt it inside of me subconsciously inside. Like the version I saw in my subconscious. You know what I think? I think that that version that you see in your head that you imagine, that version, the subconscious mind version inside this dome here, I think that that is exactly who the fuck you're supposed to be. That's what I think. And then I think that we end up going through life and things um, block it, right? Prevent you from having access to that version, okay? Then let's just say you get on a healing journey and you discover things and you start tapping in to the life of what you saw and hear. So I think that the trauma, the drama, the pain, the suffering, and all the things is what blocks all of us um, from accessing that version of who we are. Living this life now, I never thought ever that it was real, okay? So the confidence and um, the, more, the more obviously I make TikTok videos, obviously the more comfortable I get, right? But my, the way that I'm presenting my content is shifting and changing. And so my comfort and my confidence within, um, it has changed. The more, that I, the more that I work and clear all the trap trauma and emotions from me, the more access I have to my natural gifts and abilities. The more access I seem to have to my creativity. So, today's sequence is going to be about confidence the imposter syndrome but how we were going to access that is by tapping and clearing the trapped caca out of the way the tapping is what unlocks the blockages and lets the energy flow in the way that it is supposed to be and if the energy is balanced within the body then the mind is balanced if you have all the blockages then the subconscious mind and the things that we tell ourselves are negative, dark, and hurtful. So then, of course you don't have confidence. Of course you don't, you know what I mean? Have discipline, consistency. Of course you don't have those things if you are literally working against yourself in here. And being that the subconscious mind literally manages 95% of our cognitive functioning, we need to make sure that that is as healthy as possible. It controls a lot. The subconscious mind controls 95% of our cognitive functioning, emotions, intuition. Bro, back up from this cream sweater. I can't have nothing nice with a big slimy dog. You just can't. So that's why I'm always in what you see me in when I'm making videos is because he's a drippy, drooly, Brad. <laughs> Sequence coming next.